Hey guys, Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the video. As you can tell, I have a cold. It is not the other thing. Don't worry. I made sure of that. But what we're doing today is, and then, by the way, I'm not going to do a ton of talking because I can't even stand the way I sound right now. What we're doing is I basically bought four, well, two pairs of brand new shocks for the Abao Hyper MT Plus 2. This is what they are. They come in the full set. So everything that you need is in this package. The only thing I'm transferring over is my HD springs. So why I'm doing this is the last time I was out, if you didn't notice, or if you didn't watch that video, I was testing the 2200 KV and one of my shocks was just messed up. And I don't know what it was because I checked the shock oil and all that stuff, but it was basically like it had no um, dampening at all. So maybe the piston, maybe like an, I don't know, something inside because basically you'd compress it and then it would just fling like as fast as possible right back. So when you're trying to jump it and stuff like that, it did not work at all. So what I chose to do was because I was getting a few things from about, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get shocks too, because it's always nice to have a spare set of shocks. I bought two pairs of shocks. I just built them. I used 60 weight oil this time. So it's 60 weight and I think it's 810, 810, yeah, 810 CST. Uh, this time, last time, I think I was 70 or 80 and I did find that a little thick um, for what I was doing. So I went down this time to 60. Again, I'm still using my HD springs. But what we're going to do, because I really don't feel like talking because I sound horrible and I feel horrible, I am going to get these shocks back together. I'm going to get them back on the truck and I'm going to go out and give the truck a run, just a, an overall run. Uh, the reason the truck's already half apart is I was kind of thinking like, oh, maybe this isn't is something I'm just going to kind of do on the side and not do a video of. And then I was like, yeah, you know what? People are usually interested in this kind of stuff. They're interested in setups. So what I'm going to do, like I just mentioned, get this all back together, get the shocks back together, get them back on the truck and let's get it out for a run. So that was weird guys. In the air, I lost my throttle, but I still had brake. So let's go take it to the truck and see what happened. Oh, well, there, that explains that. You know what, it's funny guys. When I watch this back now, I'm really curious to see because I had no throttle in the air, but I swear I had a brake which I know doesn't make any sense. But anyways, let's get this fixed and get it back out. All right, guys, so I guess I'm gonna have to kind of position my landings a little bit different because not only did this battery come disconnected, my sensor wire itself also came completely disconnected. So yeah, that's, uh, you know what? I may do like what I did the time with the EXP where I had the ramp way, way back. But again, I don't know if I'm gonna guys keep doing the super jumps. Um, this is some pretty big air. I don't know if it comes across on video, but it's crazy from where I'm standing. But I do want to also just drive this truck a bit, do some kind of general bashing, rip it around, see how it is, uh, see how my suspension is, see how it handles. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna get this back together. That is high, guys. Oh, what 
for now. Nectar again. All right, guys, I'm honestly coming down a little bit too hard because it's the second time this time I lost this battery connector and I lost the sensor wire again. It came undone here. It was still plugged in back here. So I need to, uh, I don't know, figure something out. Either work on my jump and kind of come down more on that little downslope or I don't know, either, I don't know, ax the censored stuff. I'm not sure. Just because this is getting kind of annoying. The ESC itself is still fine. It's still on here. I always like this tray because it's kind of like a floating tray, but it does help. Like I've moved my battery trays back, these here, and it's kind of nice because you're able to kind of push the ESC a little bit and kind of work with it when you're putting the battery trays back in. So, but anyways, I'm going to get out and get another run. Wow, so fast. All right, guys, so I haven't been talking much because I've got my cold. I did take a Tylenol cold and sinus. And I don't know if it's coming across on the video, but man, am I getting some massive air. And you know what? As always, this thing just keeps taking it. Um, I definitely have some issues with my steering, my turnbuckles, all that stuff. I need to spend some time with that because it's, I am having a hard time trying to keep it straight, but Holy man, seeing this thing jump is just awesome. And the 2200, I've checked a couple times, temps haven't been too bad, but it's also not very warm today. It's only about 16 degrees Celsius. All right, let's get back to jumping. Right, guys we're back home the truck is back on the bench and i put the white body back on because i always think that body looks just so awesome uh, but i also really really like that body so that's why i was running that one today but the one thing guys i wanted to do quickly was oh and if you're wondering why i stopped kind of running uh that's because i sneezed i sneezed like about seven times and that was enough and i had to come home so what i wanted to show you guys is this is the RTR manual because you can get this truck in two different ways. It does come RTR and it also comes kind of in a roller, like an almost ready to run. I forget what they call it, like 70% or 80% or something like that. But what's really, really cool, and I love when companies do this, is as I mentioned first thing in the video, I bought two sets of new shocks. And even in the manual, they, even though this is the RTR manual, they still show you everything they still show you where everything goes there's no guessing i didn't have to you know pull my old shocks apart to find where everything goes i love that they do this it makes things so much easier uh, you know for anybody hey i've been in the hobby for a really really long time but there's guys out there that haven't been in the hobby and you know what they could buy a truck like this and then they want to do something like this but they don't know how to build the shocks they go into their manual the manual doesn't have a whole lot of information in it you know what about Thank you for doing stuff like this. I wish everybody did. Anyways, guys, that's it. I am going, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to nap. But anyways, guys, as always, if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, and yes, there are a few picks.